Okay, so for this video, I'm going to be demonstrating how to use um, the looping function or iteration using uh, ArcGIS and um, using Python. And so for this example, we have um, a municipal boundary here of Zacatlan uh, in the state of Puebla. And we have some uh, different uh, shape files of uh, distribution areas of species that are protected uh, within the state of Puebla. And so what I want to do is I want to uh, clip these shape files to the uh, municipal boundary of Zacatlan. And so um, the basically what to do uh, to start this off is I'll open up um, this uh, program called PyScriptor. And PyScriptor is kind of just a, a nice way of um, testing out your um, Python code and kind of figuring out if things work. It's really good at uh, showing errors. Uh, so for instance, if I uh, have an error or anything, it's going to show up as uh, with the red line underneath. Um, and it can also tell you the different kinds of errors that are going on. Um, so um, first of all, I'll kind of run through this this code that I have here and explain you know how uh, what's going on here. So the import arcpy is the importing the arcpy site package um, uh, into the, the the code. And then also um, we're importing the um, the OS environment, or the, the OS module, which is basically using uh, uh, creating new files, copying, pasting, those kinds of operations that you would use in the operating system. Um, and then, so we're going to set our workspace. Um, so the source workspace is hard coded here as the um, the uh, as test six uh, geodatabase, and then the target workspace is the Python uh, Python geodatabase here, and then the, also the clipping feature that I'm going to use is also hard coded here. So then later on I can just pull these in um, to the code, and so here the, the environmental workspace, the environment workspace, is the source workspace here. And so I have like a, here at the bottom I have a try and accept uh, function. So that way, if for some reason this code runs and and has an error, then it will jump down to this accept, and it will print out uh, this code cannot this cannot clip the feature classes, and then it also do an archpy get messages, which is basically um, pulling up the messages that would normally happen during a geoprocessing function when you're running it in ArcGIS, so you can figure out what what might have gone wrong. Um, so then to keep going through here, um, basically we're going to go through, loop through all the feature classes. Um, uh, basically fc list, arcpy dot uh, list feature classes goes into this this location here and uh, basically lists all the feature classes that are inside of it. And then um, this for FC and FC list is, is basically saying, what do you want to do with all of those uh, feature classes that you just listed? So then uh, the next um, the next function is to go uh, here, arcpy.clip analysis. And this is the the basically the clipping function within the, uh, the tool arc toolbox, um, and this is what it looks like in Python. And so then you select um, arcpy.clip analysis for the f the feature classes in feature class list, and then you're clipping it to the clipping feature, which is the municipal boundary of Zacatlan, and then the output feature class is up here, it's the target workspace which is uh, Python uh, geodatabase here, and then plus um, a string, which is Zacatlan, 
and the feature class name. So that way each one has their own uh, their own um, name associated with them. So what I'll do is since there are no red lines or anything in this, uh, I'm going to copy this into ArcGIS. I could run it straight from um, PyScripture, but I think it'll be easier for me to show you uh, in ArcGIS. So copy this, and I'll pull up the Python window in ArcGIS, and then paste. And um, then just to get this running, you just press enter. And then it starts clipping all of the different um, uh, habitat in the areas to the municipal boundary of Zuckerland. And so you can see it works quite quickly uh, at just looping through each one of the shapefiles, the feature classes, and then clipping them, um, which is uh, much, much quicker than having to go through and do this um, by hand manually for each one. Um, and it's nice to be able to kind of see what it's doing also in ArcGIS as it starts to pull up each one. Um, into the table of contents on the left. And so you can see it, see it finished. And so that is an explanation of how to, how to do looping through feature classes using Python in ArcGIS.